New Mexico Style Book Club continues as we showcase author Rudy Garcia. In his novel, The Closet of Discarded Dreams, a young Mexican American man battles insanity in a surreal world where everyone endlessly relieves humankind's abandoned dreams. And joining us to explain this leap of imagination is the author himself, Rudy Garcia. Hi, Rudy. Hi, Nikki. It's so nice to meet you and a pleasure to have you with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to tell our viewers that The Closet of Discarded Dreams is a fantasy novel about a world that's filled with humanity's dreams. So how did you come up with a strange concept like this? The history of this, Nikki, is uh, I, I've always hated dreams in, uh, in novels. I skip them. Really? So I finally challenged myself. Could I write a book uh, about dreams that wasn't uh, something that I'd want to skip or anyone else would? Ah, good way to and, say it. And uh, my writer's group issued a challenge to write a novel in 30 days. Mm. It took me 45, uh, but the first draft was done, and after years of revisions, uh, the book came out. That's amazing. And, you know, you've had rave reviews. I want to I wanna remind our viewers something really interesting. A critic said, and I'm going to quote this, that you stuff pop culture and consumerism into a comic blender and hit the puree button. So what did he mean by that? Oh, everything imaginable is in this, uh, Nikki, uh, if, if you can... Even imagine what everybody's dreams might be. Yes. I'm uh, intrigued by dreams, by the way, personally. I'll sometimes even write them down and then try to find a meaning. I, I think it's intriguing. Yours might be in the book. Oh, no. <laughs> but uh, this world is filled with uh, uh, American presidents in embarrassing situations. Wow. Uh, movie stars, historical figures, Marilyn Monroe, Che Guevara, mm. uh, scientists, philosophers, uh, Lenny Bruce. Oh, wow. And then on top of that, uh, we throw uh, all the material goods that uh, people wish for, aspire mm -hmm. to, everything from the Oscar that you hope to win one day <laughs> right. uh, to gold ingots, jewelry, Gucci, uh, wine, cigars, and... Uh, well, there's only one thing you left out here, romance. Did you leave room for romance? Uh, this is not uh, Fifty Shades of Brown. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, this is the romance of uh, back when we were kids, yes. uh, when we were young. It's the flirting, it's the fun, mm -hmm. it's the jokes, uh, oh. minus the, uh, the shades. That's amazing. Well, and you know, I wanted to talk about the fact that the young hero is actually a young Mexican-American male. So will it then appeal to the mainstream uh, female members of our society or just any general mainstream reader, readers in general? When readers open this book, <clears throat> excuse me, when readers open this book, what they're going to find is a young man who awakens in a world that he doesn't want to be in. Oh, and he wow. goes through uh, uh, denial, depression, anxiety, uh, suicidal thoughts. Uh, wow. and, and in each struggle, he has to overcome them. And in fact, uh, women know more about having overcome things like that than probably anyone else. Ah, uh, you know your female audience. Well said. So, and, <laughs> it's and they, true, though, isn't it? They might uh, identify with with his success and meeting his challenge. Yes. And they might find some some hope uh, or some solace in uh, in the fact that eventually he he ends uh, his struggle uh, to escape from this world and instead decides to change it. Okay, speaking of changing it, uh, we will will we want it to continue on? Is there a possible sequel in mind? Uh, there's this one outrageous character, uh, Chrissy the Bruiser. Okay, I love that name, <laughs> Chrissy who, who, the Bruiser. Who might remind readers of uh, Gene Stein's uh, Anna Strong uh, oh. protagonist. Okay. Uh, and she, she trashes my hero. She, she makes fun of his beer belly. <laughs> she, uh, she is unattainable for him. Okay. And I want to see what, uh, where she might take uh, another novel about the closet. Interesting. And my hero. She can really evolve into something more interesting. And, and there's actually going to be a reading and a book signing, I want to mention, that's happening later this month on Saturday, September 29th. That's taking place at the National Hisp uh, Hispanic Cultural Center. And so what can the audience expect if they decide to attend the event? What they're going to see is uh, me, an author, <laughs> very impassioned about uh, what he's written. Yes. I reread it last uh, week, and I love the book. Oh, isn't that a wonderful uh, feeling? And I'm going to give readers, or uh, the audience rather, uh, a sample of 
some dramatic things, some things that might grab them. Nice. Maybe some humor. Mm. Mm. And uh, there'll also be some great uh, door prizes. Oh, really? So there'll be some or more details going on at this event. Tell us some more about the door prizes. Okay. Uh, besides uh, winning autographed copies of the book, mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, uh, a print of uh, the artist uh, Robert Maestas. Okay. Uh, did a piece called Man's Disharmony. Okay. And if I had had uh, uh, the choice, I would have picked that for my co book cover. Really. And uh, also, my, my daughter's a professional photographer, and she oh, did nice. a publicity piece that I, that I think I, I sent you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, where she superimposed me on the cover. Uh, Isn't that great? Well, where can viewers pick up a copy of the book? Even if they can't make it to the reading, where can they get the book now? Uh, I'm working with uh, uh, local uh, bookstores on, on getting it in, but okay. uh, in the meantime, they can go to the book website, uh, discarded-dreams.com, okay. and there's a button there for... Getting it right now as an ebook and, la and later this week as a paperback. Fantastic. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us and thank you for being here today. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thank, thank you. you so much. And coming up next on New Mexico Style, a doggy daycade destination that will have your pet howling. Don't go away.